my name is Sasha Drulo. I'm an associate professor at Wayne State University School of Medicine in Detroit, Michigan. So my laboratory focuses on um, pregnancy and pregnancy outcomes and the contribution of the human placenta to disease. So in particular, we are interested how the placenta develops and how it contributes to healthy babies, but as well to sick babies. So in broad strokes, we're looking at how the placenta develops, try to develop intervention strategies, as well as early detection of disease methods. So we're using qPCR to um, look into specific pathways very quickly. As you know, qPCR is a, a versatile tool to um, investigate many genes at the same time in various formats from 96 to 384 wells. So our CFX model uh, allows us to do both things. Um, the CFX Maestro software um, enables us to analyze now the data quicker and uh, more reliably and, and helps us as well to do statistical analysis, which we are before with other versions not able to do so. I am mostly responsible for the qPCR based uh, experiments, both running the experiments and the analysis in the lab. When it comes to the CFX Maestro software, what I really like is that they have a statistical analysis option. So you can run simple tests like ANOVA on your data. It really helps to pre-screen and determine the success of your experiment. The CFX Maestro software actually integrates both the analysis as well as the later part like statistical analysis and making graphs, which makes it really easy to just run quickly through your data and do a pre-assessment. Well, we try to um, use cutting edge uh, technology as are the other lab. So um, being in close contact with companies like BioRat and have close interactions that allows us to have like alpha and beta versions of software and machines in our laboratories. It's absolutely critical to have uh, a software that is easy to use because it allows us to directly to analyze your data and really see if it's meaningful. If you first have to export data and then go back to the office, it is really not um, very handy. So we really rely on a software which is like easy to use and straightforward. The tools like CFX Maestro definitely make it easier to teach qPCR uh, to students or people who have not really worked with PCR or qPCR before. I wouldn't go with anything else. The CFX Maestro software is now at a stage where it's supposed to be meaning that we can do meaningful analysis of um, our data directly when it comes out of the machine. Our uh, main concern is the reproducibility of the data and what does this data really mean. So uh, in reproducibility, we try to um, use various methods like not only qPCR, we use as well protein technology to sh see surely that this is what's happening. We use other methods, um, interaction assays, to further uh, assure that um, the effects are correct and um, solid. Ultimately, we hope to um, help uh, families to uh, raise healthy children and that uh, starts in the womb. So we try to help um, um, target diseases as well as early as we can, help to develop intervention strategies and I think we're making big leaps currently and uh, hope to see that in the near future.